Hi everyone. Today we're going to just use cookie cutters to make some fun little ornaments that will be easy for children to do. And we're just using white clay. You can use whatever colors you want. It doesn't matter. Use whatever cookie cutters you want. We are just going to embellish them and add stuff on. We're not going to add hooks. We're going to make holes and you can hang them with ribbons. Now I'm using white clay and of course, as always, use the clay of your choice and whatever color you want. And you all know this is going to be very simple. So just roll out your clay if you have a pasta machine, roll it through the pasta machine. Now this is a template that I made from a cookie cutter. And this cookie cutter is very easy to find in the store. I think it's pretty common. And I think it's easier if you just use the cookie cutter. I really don't know why I did this. Just to show you a, a different way of doing things. In case you don't have cookie cutters, you can print out forms from the internet or from a book or whatever. And make your own shapes. And of course you can cut it out with the X-Acto knife. Now I did uh, I did make this video about three years ago, and I am recording the voiceover today on April twenty sixth, twenty twenty. And I see we're just going to make a bunch of these, and make sure they're about a quarter of an inch thick. You don't want them to be too thin. And as I said, I'm just showing you different things you can do. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Just play around with it. Let the kids do whatever they want. If you don't want them to use a needle tool, let them use a toothpick. Here, I'm just doing his tail, and the tools are easy. You don't need a lot of tools. Uh, here, I'm using a paintbrush. I'm, I'm going to use both ends, one end for the blush, one end to texture with, and a needle tool. And if you're doing this with the kids, they can each have their own toothpick. Because I know if you have a lot of kids, you don't want to go out and get each of them a needle tool. Or if you're doing this for a little kid's class, you know, toothpicks work great. And this one gets a little red nose. And of course, blush before you bake. And you can paint the eye on. Now, most of these, I don't do any painting on any of them because it just makes it so much easier. Just poke a hole for the eye. And of course, you can make them fancier than that. Do whatever you want. As I told you before, I hadn't been feeling well. And now this is April the 26th. And here we go with a cookie cutter with a bone. And I went to my house, which is out in the country. I left my brother's house where I was, sewer gas was leaking into my bedroom and it made me very sick. And I was told to leave and get fresh air. So I'm out in the country and my goodness, am I getting a lot of fresh air? And I already feel better. I've only been here one night and I, 
You could probably even tell by the way I'm talking. I feel much, much better. So now we've cut out the, the mitten, the dog bone, and the Christmas light. Gosh, I don't even know what to tell you anymore because this is so easy. You just watch it. I don't even need to talk. There's the hole that we're going to put the ribbon through. And I have the little Kemper cutters that are star-shaped. And now I'm just making impressions on there of stars. Don't press all the way through because then you'll cut a hole in it. You know, kids can make these as gifts for their friends. So super easy to do. Make one for all your dogs. That almost looks like a bow tie, too. You can make a bow tie out of that one. And we're going to put a little paw print there. So as I said, I am at my house out in the country. My younger brother lives here. I have been taking care of my older brother for about five years. Now that looks cute, and you put the dog's name on it. And many of you know this already. But I have no internet or cable here. So I am pulling up all my old videos, and I'm doing voiceovers on them because... I had some really, really cheesy music on there. And if you were a member of Ornament Academy, you'll remember that because I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. But this is the, uh, the little light bulb. We're going to put a little face on him. And again, you can do whatever you want. And I made a hole for his for his mouth. Oh goodness, somebody's pulling up. Let me end this. Well, I'm back. Somebody did pull up. My brother has a lot of people come, not a lot of people, maybe four or five people coming here. Um, not at one time, but I've told them all they cannot come in the house. So, I'm wearing my mask and my gloves. I'm okay. All right, let's continue with this. We're going to cut out a tree, cut out a bunch of stuff. And again, you may not be using these cookie cutters to cut out stuff. Do your own thing. Use your own cutters. This is just a guide to help you see what I'm doing. and Maybe you can apply it to whatever you're doing. And the kids will love this because they can make their own ornaments without any fuss. I'm feeling like I should just put some music here because I really don't know what to say. I'll just talk you through it. And so, as I was saying, I pulled out um, about 15 videos that I had made for Ornament Academy. They are not the best ones I made. And I'll probably tell you this in other videos, too, but they're not the best ones I ever made. 
But right now, because I was feeling so sick, I wasn't able to make any new videos. So I had 15 videos that I could pull out and do voiceovers on, get rid of the cheesy music. And the problem with the music at that time was that there's only certain things you could use that you didn't have to worry about the copyright. So it, it was it was okay for, I guess, at the time. There's the little mom. Reminds me of my mom who used to make the most fantastic Christmas cookies. But anyway, so I'm going to narrate all of those videos. I'm taking all the music off and I'm going to narrate them. And I'm going to try to get them uploaded as quickly as possible because I'm not sure... I think it's going to be another week at least before I can get back to making new videos. And the problem right now with making new videos is my camera. It is just not working right. And it's it's an old camera. I've used it for many, many things. It's many years I've had that camera. And so I am, as I said in another video, I'm getting... Uh, a smartphone, which my son talked me into, and I'm going to do my part for the economy by spending some money. And it has a camera in it that is supposed to be, according to my brother's friend who has this phone, it's supposed to be amazing. And it has a stabilizer, which I think means that it won't jiggle or anything, I hope. So I'm going to try to make some of the newer videos using the iPhone. And I will let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, we are doing this. See, there's so many different ways here that you can decorate these. And if you're working with kids, have them use a toothpick instead of the needle tool. They'll do great with the toothpick. I've worked with quite a few children making ornaments. Uh, when my son was in school, his third grade class, we made Santa head ornaments. And it was amazing because every child's ornament looked different. None of them looked alike. It, it was just great. And then I did, uh, I think it was my friend's daughter's kindergarten class. Now, those were really, those were young kids. And uh, I had to portion out the clay for them, you know, make each little piece, not make the pieces, but portion out the clay. And they had quite a bit of fun. I can't remember. That was so long ago. Her daughters are all grown up now. Uh, I forget what we made. Oh, my gosh. And then I did my niece when she was in... I think she might have been in second grade or third grade. We did the ornaments and we did school buses and I can't can't remember what ornaments we made, but I know my son helped me with that one. And so I I've done with quite a few kids and then I did with my uh niece in Virginia, we did some oh with her when she was younger. After her mom passed away, we made ornaments with her brownie class. So I've, I've worked with quite a few kids. And what you do with the kids is use toothpicks, get Q-tips that they can use to put the blush on, and don't just give them a big glob of clay. Try to give them the clay portioned out to the sizes they will need and instruct them fairly well. But it's very interesting what they come out with. But now, and if you have like the Kemper cutters or any little cutters, just have them share. They don't mind. There you go, it's a little snowflake. And 
these you can actually even make these to sell online. And if if I were to sell these online, I would do maybe six together, make like a bundle of them. And since they don't cost that much to make, you know, that would be an idea. Here we're, we're just writing with the knitting needle. And you can even put uh, names on using this technique. Well, it's not a technique, but just you can just write names on. And there they all are. And it's just so qu quick and easy. And the light bulb one, you can put any kind of face on there. Oh, I can't believe that it's done already. All right, guys. Bye.